guys I uh, just want to change it up a little bit do a little bit of a vlog style I guess uh, since we are kind of on a small trip to uh, upstate New York near Syracuse and just want to share with you this really awesome Airbnb that we are in um, so just want to do a little bit of a tour actually first of all I hope you've already seen this footage I think I'm gonna put it before this clip but we are on the farm so there's a lot of sheep outside let's see if you can see it it's gonna be a little yeah you can see that and it's lovely to be able to wake up to them buying in the background it's really cute uh, I'll link everything below so you can find this place yourself uh, this is a sheep farm and I think they focus mainly on uh, raising sheep for meat uh, which is they're all grass-fed and they have a large area to roam around and it's just really great um, yeah so uh, they don't sell yarn unfortunately but they do sell raw wool I think maybe one day if I start spinning that would be a great option but without a further ado I'll just do a quick tour here so right now I'm on the first level Let me flip over here and you can see when you come in there's the dining table it, we set it up as our workstation uh, and there's a little bit of a, a living room which is nice um, there's a second level which I'll show you later and then uh, there's a kitchen and it's got everything you need you know the coffee the kettle um, so it's got everything you need and I think uh, the lady who runs this place, uh, her name is Martha. She also left us some eggs from the farm. It was lovely. Yeah, I already had some. It's really good. Um, I think I'm going to bring some home too. And then there's a really nice spacious bathroom, uh, which we already lived in a little bit. Yeah, so it's really nice here, really quiet. But really, the best part is on the second floor, which I'll show you right now. So this is the second floor. Oh, the bed is unmade. Let's work on that. Okay, the bed is made now. Um, yeah, this is the second floor, which is the bedroom. You can see the bottom of the loft here which makes it feel really spacious and they got some really rustic decoration and the roof is just awesome so pretty okay but the best part is this big window which you get a higher view and you can just watch all of the sheep and this was my favorite part of the air this little cottage uh, I actually had to do a little bit of work so I just sat at this window and listened to the sheep ba all day and uh, gave me a good laugh it's actually really great so yeah well that's all of the loft hope you enjoyed um yeah I'll show you a little bit more around the uh, area and uh, share some footage there but highly recommend this place we've been here for already maybe two nights so it's been really great alrighty see you later Vlogging in public was just too challenging for me right now. In the meantime, voiceover Molly would tell you a little bit more about this trip since I collected some footage. This was the beginning of April in Syracuse. It was uncharacteristically warm. This gave us a chance to roam the 500 acres available at the Airbnb. But if you can't tell, the best part for me is the sheep.
also visited Skiniatoli's lake. The weather took a turn that day, which gave a perfect chance to just enjoy some white wine indoor at Aniela Vineyard. I think the Finger Lake region is famous for its white wines, especially Rieslings. It was also just nice to enjoy an afternoon of knitting while hearing some chatter around us. Our last spot was Green Lakes State Park. The water has a unique blue-green hue because the water on the top and the bottom of the lake does not intermix throughout the seasons, forming distinctive layers each with distinct biomes and minerals. Throughout this trip, I was knitting the night shift shawl designed by Andrea Maori. Seeing all the sheep is definitely inspiring me to want to learn how to spin yarn. I'll let you know how that goes on the next podcast. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you in the next podcast. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye!